Hi second graders, it's Mrs. Briggs here with lesson 17 of module 1's deep dive. So let's dive in. Today you'll need your reading notebook, a pencil, and your book, A Color of His Own. We are going to use the knowledge section today. Let's echo read, so repeat after me. Our craft question is, how can writers construct sentences using multiple verbs or multiple subjects? All right, there's some tricky words in there. We have the word construct, and we have the word multiple. What does construct mean? How can writers construct sentences? Yeah, it means to put them together, or we might write sentences, or even just come up with some sentences. And the word multiple shows up multiple times. That means more than one. Okay, let's start off with a little review here. What is the subject of a sentence? It's the who or what the sentence is about. Good. In our last deep dive, we discussed how sometimes sentences have more than one subject doing the same action. So you could have more than one who or what in the sentence, and they might both be doing the same thing. Similarly, a sentence can have more than one verb. Verb is the same thing as an action word. So just like there can be more than one subject in a sentence, there could also be more than one verb or more than one action. So let's read this sentence here in the box. The leaf turned yellow and dropped from the tree. Let's read it together. The leaf turned yellow and dropped from the tree. What is the subject in this sentence? Who or what is doing the action? Good, the leaf. The leaf is doing the action in this sentence. What is the leaf doing? The leaf turned yellow and it dropped from the tree. So the leaf turned yellow and dropped from the tree. So the leaf is doing more than one action. So that's what we're going to be working with today in this deep dive, finding more than one verb or action word in the sentence. Let's look at three more sentences. Now as I read them, and you can read them with me, think about what the subject or subjects, more than one, of each sentence are doing. And then identify the verb or verbs. So then think about, well, what are they doing? What is the action? I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, let's look at sentence number one. I'll highlight it as we read. The chameleon looked for a friend and finally found one. So think about who or what is doing the action in this sentence. Then think about what is the action that they are doing. Now let's try number two. The chameleon and his friend stayed and changed color together. Again, who or what is the sentence about? And then what are they doing? What are the action words? And then sentence number three. The chameleon smiled and talked to his friend. So what is the subject or subjects of the sentence? Think about it just on your own. And now think about what are the action words in sentence number three. These are things that you could do. They're actions. All right, now that you've had a chance to think about that, let's go over them together. We're going to underline, underline the verbs in the sentences today. So let's look at the first sentence. 
And to make it a little easier, let's circle the subject so we can still practice finding who or what the sentence is about. So number one, the chameleon looked for a friend and finally found one. So who or what is the sentence about first? What is the subject? The chameleon, good. Now what is the action that the chameleon is doing? Well, the chameleon looked for a friend and finally found one. So looked and found are both verbs in this sentence. Does that match what you thought when you were practicing on your own? Let's try number two. The chameleon and his friend stayed and changed color together. What, are the, what is the subject or subjects of this sentence? Who is the sentence about? Well, we have the chameleon and his friend. So we have two subjects in the sentence. And what is the action that they did? Good, they stayed, action word, and changed. Oh, there's that word again, changed. So this sentence has two subjects and two verbs. Let's try number three. The chameleon smiled and talked to his friend. What is the subject of the sentence? Chameleon again. And what did the chameleon do? What are the action words in the sentence? The chameleon smiled. And what else? Good, and talked to his friend. Awesome. Writers use multiple verbs with one subject to keep from using too many words. So instead of saying, the leaf turned yellow and the leaf dropped from the tree, a writer could say, the leaf turned yellow and dropped from the tree. So notice um, the sentence in red and the sentence in green are slightly different, just a little bit different, but the sentence in green has fewer words and still gets the point across. What is another sentence you could write about the chameleon from a color of his own using more than one verb? So you can either come up with your own sentence or two sentences talking about some actions that the chameleon did in the story, a color of his own, or there are three examples for you to choose from, but you only need to choose two. So in bold, where it's darker right here, it says choose two sentences or write your own to add to your knowledge journal. So the knowledge section of your reading notebook. Then underline the verbs in the sentences. So just like we practiced together, but this time you're writing them on your own in your notebook and underlining the verbs or the action words. If you want a little more of a challenge, you could also circle the subjects. Something else that we worked on last time. So here are your three sentences to choose from, or again, you can create your own. The first one says, the chameleon... Oh, I want to try that again. I want to work on my accuracy, so I want to say these words correctly. All right, here we go. The chameleon ran and jumped onto a rock. The chameleon laughed and cried. And our last one, the chameleon ran toward his friend and hugged him. You could write all three if you would like to but your task is to at least write two sentences. They can be two of your own sentences, you can use one and create your own, or you can choose two of these sentences to write into your knowledge section. And again, make sure you're underlining the verb or verbs in the sentences. So you can pause the video and do that task. All right, and we're coming in for a landing here. What have we learned about constructing sentences or creating sentences? One thing is that sentences need to have a subject and a verb. A 
another is there can be more than one subject or verb. That's when we say there are multiple subjects or multiple verbs. You can join two simple sentences with a conjunction to make a compound sentence. And we'll work more with that as well coming up in the next deep dive. An example of that is the leaf turned yellow and it dropped from the tree. And is our conjunction. The leaf turned yellow could be a sentence on its own. It dropped from the tree could also be a sentence on its own. But we connect them with this short word here called a conjunction. And don't forget there's a little comma there as well. All right, so just a reminder, your task from this deep dive is to make sure you have written at least two sentences in your knowledge, knowledge section um, writing about uh, what the chameleon did in a color of his own using action words and making sure you underline the verbs in the sentences. All right, I hope you learned something new today and make sure you continue to show what you're learning even if it's not during wit and wisdom time or even reading time. If you notice a sentence in math has more than one subject or more than one verb, share that information. It's so cool to see you learning all the time. All right, have a wonderful day.